Hi my friends, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here again and we have some great news. We got an assignment from school and this one is actually a good assignment because it has braille and it's great because anything that involves braille is wonderful. So our assignment is we get to make a tactile book. Yay! And you get to choose any book that you want to choose and I went to the dollar store to get mine because there are a lot of good books there too. So you have to choose a children's book, that's one of the only rules. And there's a twist. This book, we cannot use the Parkins Brailler at all. We have to use a slate and a stylus to braille the entire book. And you cannot put your paper into the brailler and cheat. Because that would be dishonest anyway. So. <laughs> This literally with the slate and stylus, I'll link it below. I got mine from Amazon and it got a two pack and it was I think about ten to twelve dollars. And literally when you use the slate and stylus, you're brailing backwards. So if A is in dot, you know, one, you have to put it in dot four. So it took a while to actually remember that you have to kind of switch the dots. So it took me a couple of days. <laughs> because I don't use this very often. I use this and my Braille Note Bach. And so it took me a while, but we got the hang of it and we brailled our entire book and it was great. <laughs> I'm going to show you my book that I got. I got it from the Dollar Tree and this book is called Molly's Journey. And look at the cover. This cover shows Molly and Molly the mermaid and she has purple hair and um, an or orange tail and the story is about her and she's going to go visit her grandmother and along the way she meets all these different kind of ocean friends like clownfish and jellyfish and dolphins and they're so cute too and it reminds me a lot of Molly Burke that's why I chose it because she likes mermaids and she filmed a video of swimming like a mermaid and it's so cute I like that look I just love like making tactile books I made a couple before um, they're not here they're at my house <laughs> But I just like making like different books. It makes the book come alive for a lot of children with visual impairments. And like, who doesn't love making books? And tactile! Tactile books are absolutely the best thing ever. And if you go to the National Braille Press, you'll see a lot of their books have tactile images too. But they have a machine that they use. Mine that I make, you have to use different materials to make your book tactile. Try to use a lot of materials that represent what I'm trying to show. One of the items in the book is a jellyfish. And jellyfish are really squishy. A lot of kids probably haven't been to the beach. I've never been to the beach. I think I've been once, maybe. But I've never seen a jellyfish or touched a jellyfish. So, but a lot of people tell me that it's squishy. So I got a sandwich bag <laughs> and slime. And I put some of the slime in the bag, folded it, and that's the jellyfish top. And I use wiki sticks to represent the tentacles and that's the jellyfish and for Molly because I wanted to show that the mermaid tail has is a bunch of scales so with the material that's closest to scales is sequins so I got a bunch of sequins for the dolphin you'll see later on what, what material that I use to uh, make the dolphin you have to tune in so you have to watch to the end <laughs> I already brailed all the pages for the book it took me a while but it was worth it because look at it it is so pretty it's at the bottom of the page and it's on this page, <laughs> this page, this page, and of course this one, and the last one. Um, if you guys make a book tactile too, please tag me. I want to see it too, you know? I like to see different people's different designs and how what materials they chose to make their books too. You can tag me on Instagram. I will link mine below, which reminds me. Please subscribe to this channel, um, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below what you'd like to see on this channel too, and also comment down below a name for our lion friend here, because sadly he's nameless, <laughs> poor thing, but you'll have a name soon. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, because we have those too, you can follow us on Twitter. Without further ado, let's go, let's go, let's make this book tactile. So I want to show you guys the different materials that I chose to make this, of course, slime. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. They are a dollar and they're Nickelodeon slime. And naturally Nickelodeon slime can go for maybe two or three or maybe four dollars. But I got them both for a dollar and it was steel. Sandwich bags, because 
That's when I usually put the slime in because we don't want the slime to touch the page and will fall off. Wiki sticks! Wiki sticks, you can get these anywhere. I'll link all of the materials, at least the ones I bought online, in the description below. Uh, we've got these um, foam underwater animal pieces and I like them all. Like there are turtles, sea stars, fish. Uh, seahorses and dolphins and they're so cute too and I think that's what there's in here sequin glue purple felt because her hair is purple rhinestone glue because I have rhinestones that are self-adhesive but sometimes the rhinestones fall off so <laughs> I'm going to use this to make sure they stay on <laughs> of course we have our book <laughs> you can't forget the book our glue ours our rhinestones our googly eyes, of course, our slate and stylus, because you can't forget those. So without further ado, let's go, let's go, let's go make this book tactile. Okay guys, so this is the book Molly's Journey, and I actually already put the braille labels in. I got the paper, it's like a transparent tape, and I'll link it the store I got it from below. I got it from the American Thermofoam, and they make the best paper, because to me, I put it in my braille writer, and the good thing about their paper is it does not clog the, the embosser head because if it does you have to send it off to repairs and I'm not doing that because that's expensive and so yay for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I determine what is actually the most important part of the, that particular page. I was watching a, a, a video and it's American Printing House for the Blind and they said that when they make their tap show images like maps, they will look at the map and determine what is the most important piece, what does the student need in this image to be able to get to the right answer. And that's what I'm gonna do. In this page, it says her ocean friends. So a lot of this page has um, sea turtles and fish. So I'm going to put the sea turtle and fish in the front though. I'm actually going to make the front tactile, so in the book, Molly herself won't be tactile. It'll be like the different animals that appear in the book, but the front will be tactile so they know what she feels like. <laughs> but on this page, I'm going to use the foam stickers to make the fish, and I'll be back when I finish this page, because I can't see what I'm doing, so <laughs> I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back, and I used foam stickers of the different sea animals and this one is I think it's a what do you call this fish? Zebrafish maybe? Or a flounder? And then this one's a turtle and since it mentioned the coral reef I thought it felt like this. I put another turtle down and put on the starfish and I made another coral reef over here and I put another starfish here I wanted to get like the gist of, of what was going on in the picture. Maybe we should have another fish. Mm. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I came back and I added a... I believe this is a, um, a clownfish. So I added that one and next to the turtle and another turtle and the coral reef. And then the braille's down here. And a starfish. I think this is a flounder. Maybe that's it. <laughs> and another coral leaf over here and two starfish. So on this page it actually talks about the jellyfish because it was dark in the cave and so I was going to make the jellyfish out of slime as I told you in the beginning and I will be back. I'm going to put them on and I'll come back and show you what I did with them. If you guys want to see more videos like this of making more tactile books I'd be happy to make them. Just let me know in the comments down below. Oh, remember to subscribe to this channel. There are so many different videos that are coming up and there are so much fun. You don't want to miss it. Hey guys, so I came back. And so what I decided to do with this page is since it was talking about jellyfish and jellyfish they have like a, a squishy texture. So what I did was <laughs> I got bags from the dollar store and they were like these little sandwich bags. And I used the slime, purple and green, and I put them in it. And I taped them shut. And I put eyes on them. <laughs> because the jellyfish do have eyes, I think. And then I used the wiki sticks. And I, I didn't use any hot glue or anything. I, the wiki sticks are like a waxy type of material. I mean, you can literally just press them down and they'll stay. 
And so I use those for the tentacles and I think it works awesome. And you can literally like squish them and they, they'll they'll move to like whatever whatever shape you want to make. Thing with this one, this one I'm, I'm swishing the purple one. And you can make it to any like any shape you want to. Now I'm touching the green one. <laughs> I didn't use any hot glue to glue down the the slime. I used velcro, like these velcro dots, and I velcro them to the page. The next page actually talks about clownfish. And in the picture, I think it has like a bunch of clownfish. So I'm going to put a bunch of clownfish on this page. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, so I came back again. And so I put on, I think, one, two, three, four, um, five clownfish. And I like them. I like different colors of them. The next to the last page it talks about her meeting a dolphin. And the pack of animal felt pieces does have a dolphin in it, but I felt that this dolphin should be bedazzled. That's what I'm gonna do for it. And so I'm gonna put the rhinestones on the dolphin. I'll be back again. So I finished this page too, and I love dolphins. So what I did was I put rhinestones on the outline of the dolphin and I put a, a googly eye on the eye. And I think it's so cute, it's so pretty. I love dolphins. <laughs> I think this page turned out really well too and you can trace the outline of the dolphin. Like the, the, the dorsal fin and then you come over to the the snout. And it has smiling too so I put rhinestones there and an eye. Because you can't see and the fin, you can't forget those. <laughs> So this is actually the end of the story and Molly actually gets to see her grandmother and I put felt for her hair. <laughs> she has really fluffy purple hair and she has a mermaid tail. I'll put pink ones on it. This boat back in the front too. Okay, I'll be back. So I finished. I put the sequence. The glue is drying so that's why there are those little white spots between the sequence. And of course, the cover. Because we're all waiting for the cover. I gave her purple hair because she has purple hair and we, of course she has her top and then we have the scales. I outlined it with red sequins and I think it looks so cute. I love this. I finished the cover so I added a fish because the story is about the ocean. We should do a walkthrough. So this is the title and it has um, the felt hair and the sequins tail and a fish. This one has a turtle, a fish, another turtle, another fish, and that's a flounder. These are starfish, and this is the coral reef, and so is this. This, <laughs> these are the jellyfish. These are purple and green. On this page, it has clownfish, and it has three on this page, and two on this page. And then this one, I love dolphins. <laughs> This one has the dolphin. I actually outlined the dolphin in rhyme, blue rhinestones. And I think it looks so pretty. I love it. And it has an eye, like a googly eye on it too. This was when she gets to meet her grandmother. She arrives at her grandmother's house and she's so happy. Look up for Molly and her grandmother is holding her hands out to hug her. And she has her fluffy purple hair and her sequined purple tail. And that is the end of this book. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun making it too. Please like this video, subscribe, share it with a friend. We are going to raise awareness about Braille because Braille is awesome and who doesn't love Braille? And thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below a name for our buddy. Remember? And remember, if you make a tactile book, please tag me on Instagram. I love to see it too. That's all for me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Bye! I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>